a toxic spill that left more than 30,000 fish dead, and federal investigators say it was no accident. Good evening, I'm Danita Harris. And I'm Chris Flanagan. The fish kill happened in April in the east branch of the Rocky River. Today, a Strongsville businessman was charged. News Channel 5's John Kosick is here. John, what exactly caused this massive kill? Yeah, Chris, it was liquid cyanide and not a little bit. Federal prosecutors say a nearly 55-gallon drum was illegally dumped. Fishing is once again a possibility along the east branch of the Rocky River, but back in April, along a three-mile stretch, it was not. Just about every fish in that part of the river was dead, more than 30,000 in all. I've been here doing this kind of work for over 10 years now, and we've never had anything that's approached this kind of devastation to the river. After the fish kill became public, an anonymous tip led investigators to this place, Kennedy Mint on Pearl Road in Strongsville. The nine-page federal indictment alleges the owner, 79-year-old Renato Montorsi, first tried to dispose of a near-full drum of liquid cyanide in a dumpster. When the garbage company refused to take the dumpster with the poison cyanide in it, Mr. Montorsi figured out his own way of disposing of that chemical. They say he placed a cyanide drum next to a storm drain in the parking lot, punched a hole in the bottom, and let the cyanide flow out. The storm drains on the property feed the east branch of the Rocky River. Mr. Montorsi chose to use the river behind us as his own dump. Among the thousands of fish killed were several dozen central big mouth shiners, which in Ohio is threatened. It carries a fine of $1,000 for every fish killed. When you pour something into the drain, it just doesn't go nowhere. It goes somewhere. And in this instance, it went right to the river. And because it was cyanide, it killed the river. And federal officials want to stress, though, that the cyanide quickly dissipated and the river is and has been since days after the incident safe. Montorsi was indicted on charges of violating the Clean Water Act, conspiracy, and obstruction of justice. On your side, John Kosick, News Channel 5.